That answer doesn't work. The reason being, the reason why that answer doesn't work, you didn't actually follow the rule. Decimal is not a rule. That's just something that you, you can potentially use if you had a calculator in front of you. What you had to do is say no, because on the rule for three, you had to add these numbers up. And I go, four plus three, was that seven plus two? That was in my notes, as Seven plus two is nine plus nine zero. Plus four. That's, four that makes nine. nine. This is yes. The numbers are yes. It means nine. Nine is multiple of three. So, uh, but that's just something you need to you need to look. You had to add this up. That is the rules. So make sure those are in your notes. Okay, two. What was the rule for two? If it ends in uh, if it has a even number, yeah. yeah and it so, is yes. And yes. Zero. Ends in with zero, two, four, six, or eight. And so yes, that two is going to divide out evenly. That's what we were doing on that worksheet. You're going through every rule now. There are certain rules up here that are more challenging. Like 10, that's easy. Um, this is a yes because it ends with a zero. Ends with a zero. 11 is no. Um, 11, we'll get to that one here in a minute. Um, six, here's a rule for six. This is a yes, by the way, and I had somebody tell me no yesterday. This is a yes because the rules for two and three, for the number two and three were yes. That's literally what the rule says. That's the rule. You have to check the two and three. If these are both yeses, it's automatically a yes for a six. The rule for four, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven, you had to add up every other number. Four um, plus two. And then the numbers I skipped was three and zero. Do these add up to be the same number when I skipped? Do they add up to be the same number? No. No, so this is a no. Okay, because 4 plus 2 is 6, and the 3 plus 0 is 3, these are not the same results. They're not equal to each other. 6 and 3 are definitely not the same number. That was the rule for 11. 9, you had to add them up, see if it was a multiple of 9, and in fact it was. This is a yes. 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 0. And it was equal to 9, so that's a yes, because it had to be a multiple 9 to you, it had the finger rule for that. 4 was the hardest rule. You had to look at the last two numbers. What are the last two numbers on this 20. problem? 20. 20. Does 4 go into 20? No. Yes. Yes, it does. The last two digits. Or is a multiple of 4? Is the last two numbers of 20, and 20 is a multiple of 4. 4, 8, 12, 16. Uh, 20. So it is a multiple of 20, or a multiple of 4. So, I just, those are the, that's what you're supposed to do. But I had, I had somebody put just random yeses and noes and just put this behind it. That was every single reason. Those are not the reasons we've been talking about for four days here in a row. Keep that in mind. They see decimals at anyways. Yeah, because we didn't have a calculator in front of you. I don't, there is no decimals there. So, there shouldn't be, there shouldn't be any decimals there. So, um, it's just one of those things. you got to double check that. Okay, those are your rules. Okay, it was not me. Okay, all right. Eric? The said words. Um, you have a little activity you'd like to talk about today for, um, for uh, factors and numbers. Do we want the mark? Do we want the mark words right away? Uh, yeah. Okay, here we go. So, all right. So, here's all I can do. I'd like you to grab one of these tables in the back here. I was going to see a little odd. So come back here, sit back here. We're going to do a little activity here. One prime number. 
What's the main word in factorization? Factor. Okay, I love the word factor. Mm -hmm. That's the main word. So we need to break these numbers down. And Mr. Ward has a really cool method. He calls it the sock method or the hockey method. So we need to, we're going to start with a big number. And we need to break it down and get it into all of the prime numbers. That's our goal today. Okay, let's start with... 22. Ooh. We're going to so put 24 in the top middle of your board, please. Okay. All right. Okay, so we're at 24. And, yep. So I'm going to think of what two numbers multiply to give us this one's dying. 24. Yeah. Okay, that would have worked, but we're back to this the same number again. So good thought, but it doesn't, it doesn't get us into a new number. Can you do your two lines there, Steve? Two lines. Or your like this. Oh. So what two numbers multiply to give us 24? One and 24. Okay, that's what Eric said too, but it doesn't, take, it doesn't give us a new number here. So is there a different set of numbers that we could break this apart oh. by? Six and no, wait, three. Close. Eight times four is 32. Okay, so I could do that, but see, 24 just gives me the same number I had on top. I'm not really giving anywhere. So, good thought, but we're going to choose a different factor pair. Six times six. No, six six times six is 36. Six times four. Excellent. Great. Okay, so erase your 4, 4, and let's put 6 and 4. Okay, so let's see, I need you to erase your 1 and 24. Okay. <laughs> Seven. Oh, Eric, we're not laughing. That's not appropriate. Thank you. Seven All right. Three. Hold up. This is where it gets tricky. I have my 4 and my 6. Are 6 and 4 prime numbers? Yeah. No. Why not? Because they both, you could you could take 2 and 4 and you could take 4 and Okay, two so and we're trying to get prime factorization, so that means we're not finished yet. So now go to your 6 and make another. Okay. Oh, so well, now five, what two numbers two. multiply to give us 6? Okay, 3 and 2. So those are both prime numbers. How do you know? Because you, you can, can't take something and get three and you can't take them and Okay. They're both divided by one. I'm oh, sure when they get all the way to the end, would you like them to circle those numbers at the end of the yes. tree? Okay. So circle. Go. Uh, I, I just would do maybe individually. So circle the three. Like, yep. Circle the three. Because those are the prime numbers. Okay. We're not done yet, though. We have to go back to that four. Circle, so branch off four, make it two and two. Okay, are those prime numbers? Yeah. So we circle them? Yeah. Are we as far down on the tree as we can go? Mm -hmm. No. Can we break up are there any more numbers we've broken up? Yes. What ones? Two more. Right, so that just gives us the same number as two. two. So 
Yep, there's nothing more. That's why we circled it. We put those, those are all the prime numbers. Okay. So then, Mr. Ward, in their answer, do you want them to write it out like? Yes. So that um, you need to now the numbers you circled, write them down below, but put them in numerical order. So what's the smallest number that you have circled? Two. Put that one first. So. Two. Yeah. But you're gonna like. Yeah, two but just, times. yeah, so we're going to put twos and threes. Do we agree those are the numbers you have circled? Yeah. Okay, how many twos do you have? One. Three. Oh, there's three of them, right? There's three of them in that, you have three twos circled. Put a little power three on it. So you have uh, the little power, it's, it's called the next one. It's how many you have. Okay, perfect. Now, what are the other numbers we have? We have what, three. three, put that behind, and yeah, say it. One. One, look at that. Look what Eric has, that's perfect. That's what I want. Need something right here in the yep. middle. Put something right in between them. This, the item I want between them. Perfect. Nice. Multiply and symbol. Perfect. Good. Okay, Good. does that make sense? We're making a list of all the numbers that we can break it down into. Now, okay, I want you to keep that on your board. Now, I want you to look up here at what I have. Okay, the old school way of how we did it originally. Okay. If I can zoom in on that. Um, what we did previously is we did what they called the factor tree. That's what we did in the beginning of this chapter where you were breaking down numbers to like 1 and 24, or 2 and 12, 3 and 8. And I heard you guys were actually talking about it. But we're doing something different. If you look at your branches, they don't look anything like mine. It actually looks like almost like a Christmas tree when it's getting done. It's branching further and further down. It's almost like a, like a, a what is it, a family tree. What do they call it? Is it, is it oh, yeah, it's like a the genealogy. Genealogy, the study of a family tree where it's like multiple branches. That's what we're doing. That's prime factorization. It is different than my factor tree. Now, the way that you did it, I love the way that you guys do it, where you, you broke it down, you picked two numbers instantly that you know, and then you broke those down further. I want us to try one more, one more of these, and then we're going to show you what I call the hockey stick method of doing it. Okay? In fact, when we do the hockey stick method, I'm going to show you kind of the shortcut for how I do these problems. Okay? All right, so let's try the number. I was trying to pie those to the room done. Awesome cover up, Sam. You guys, you worked it all on your own. This is awesome. Okay, keep going, you're good. You guys can erase this one of these days. Okay. Haha, after there. I don't think I have it. I see it, so you have it. Okay, so far so good. Not four plus four. That times four would give me eight. This is just a trial period. I got these for free from Amazon, so I'm going to see. Okay, good. Like, yeah, for free. Okay, so I'm not going to get the book two anymore. Probably. No, There's three things. Then you know you're done. Okay. I think so I can do two more. Right. I'm just going to start with a good free thing. Okay, can you break up four anymore? Mm-hmm. You can. Patrick can't get them a little bit of them. Okay, those prime, or do you keep going? No. Okay. So you're as far as you can go, you've got you in a circle, now how do you write your answer? Yeah, how many do you have? Are there any other numbers you circle? Got it. Nice. Alright, perfect. Alright. Quite impressive that you guys are actually um, getting this this quickly. Because I mean Ms. Ms. Edwards, you just introduced it, so I'm actually really pleasantly surprised by this. Okay. I would like us, we're gonna try a problem up together, and what I'm gonna show you is a different structure of doing this, okay? 
So, so um, the different structure. Where's my towel? Can I throw that? All right. Yeah, I just need that. Okay. So, let me turn the camera around here. Just don't want to drop on the ground. All right. Good. All right. So here we go. Okay. So what we're going to try is we're going to look at prime factorization. So um, we're going to look at exactly what you're doing a little bit ago. But what we're going to do is we're going to do it by what I call quote unquote the hockey stick method. So um, I'm going to go off of the number. Let's go off the number. I want something that's let's go seventy. Yeah, the number seventy. So if you want to write this down on your marker board that's in front of you, I want to show you how I do this exact math you guys are working on right now, but I do it just a little bit different. Um, so when I think about prime factorization, I always think about the prime numbers. These are the prime numbers, and I'd like you to make this list off to the side. In fact, I already have it started. It's actually perfectly started. So these are the numbers I'd like you to list off to the side. So 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, dot, 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 dot. This is the list I'd like you to have off to the side. Now there's a ton more. There's an infinite number of prime numbers. These are the first few that I want you to think about. 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17. These were some of the numbers you guys actually listed on your board. I was actually impressed by that. These numbers you cannot break down any further. Think about that. It's 1 and the number itself, right? Okay, so here's how we're going to do this with what I call a quote-unquote hockey stick method. And eventually what I want to do in here is play a game called hockey. So we're going to eventually play it. And it's going to be uh, maybe at the end of the week, maybe tomorrow, or maybe Monday. Okay, so how this works for hockey stick method. Near me. <laughs> you, you're going to draw a branch below the 70, kind of like what you were just doing, okay? But on the left side only, left side, this, this is the left side, you're going to try to start with the number 2. So put a 2 over here. Okay, we're going to try to divide by 2. Okay, If it works out perfectly, we're going to write down what the answer is with a calculator. So in fact, I'm going to hand you a calculator, because this is just a different way of doing it, especially when the numbers are larger. Okay, so we got a two on the left side. Let's hand these out. Ms. Edwards, would you like a calculator? Yes, please. All right. So everyone's got a calculator. So what I'd like to do, take 70, divide by two. And I would, I would like you to write down your answer, whatever you get, write it over here on the right side. Now, did somebody actually type it in? What do we get when we divide it? 35. 35. So we put 35 on the right side. Is that what I ever got? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Okay, now, when we go, this number should be done. We should be done with the 2. That is a prime number. But we're going to try to branch off the 35, and we're going to try to keep going. Now, when you look at the number 35, does a 2 go into it? Just think about it, before you even type it to cover. Yes. 2 goes into 35, how many times? Uh. What's the check we do for 2? Without typing in, what's the check? How do you know a 2 goes into a number? You see if the bottom end is... Oh, so it doesn't. It doesn't. So we, we can't use a 2 anymore. So now we try a 3. And we're going to try a 3, and I'm going to put the 3 over here. But will a 3 go into it? What's the rule for 3s? No, it can't. No, because you add them together. 3 plus 5 is 8. 3 doesn't go into 8. It goes into 9. So 3 doesn't. But we're going to try 5. So I'd like yes, to write it down. 7. 7 times. All right, perfect. Yeah, but, uh, now... Are when I'm done, are all are all the numbers I have on the board that I have in boxes, are all the numbers prime? So that's how you know you're done. In fact, you guys were doing that on, on your little marker boards before I even told you. You guys kept trying to go further and stopped when you knew you had a bunch of prime numbers. Now, the reason why I call this hockey stick method, it literally looks like a hockey stick when you get done. There it is. Here's my little hockey stick. Or sock. Exactly. It looks like a tube sock. Okay, so that's the idea. That we're trying to draw a, a circle around all the prime numbers. The prime number should be on the left side. So whatever number we're trying, we're trying to two first, and we try two again, we didn't work, try three, tried five. And when you get to the end, you know that the right number is prime, you're done, you can draw your hockey stick. Hockey sticks could be super long, they could be super short. Um, but or a tube side would be really long or really short. But these are your prime numbers. Now, how many twos do I have one. on my right? One. I have one. One. So there's one two. So you put a little power one on there. How many fives do I have? 
One. One. How many sevens do I have? One. One. That's your answer. What you're looking at here, this is called exponential okay, form. Okay, what goes in between all those numbers? This is exponential form. Good. What you actually just did there, exponential form, you just did a form of pre-calculus. Believe it or not. Jeez. You're doing a little bit of pre-calc in general math. Jeez. So not bad. You guys are actually pretty good at this. Now, let's try another one, but now, we don't necessarily have to use the hockey stick method. I just like it. It makes it easier, makes it faster, because what is the, always the first number we always check? One. Not just one, but two. 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 And if two doesn't work, try three. Three doesn't work, try five. And you keep oh, going until you have your hockey stick. Let's try another number. Miss Edwards, would you like to create a number for them, please? Ooh. Let's do 72. 72. Okay, try it on your own. Don't get any answers out. The number is 72. You can do it by any method you like. Maybe you like Miss Edwards' method. Maybe you like the little hockey stick. Uh, like We'll have to get up a loop. It'll be easy on you, see. Come on. Yep, don't, you can, don't, we're not cheating. You can talk about it if you need to. Yep. Mm. Yeah. Okay, good, good start there. Sam, good start. You got the little arrows going. So, what's the first thing we're going to try? Yeah, good. try. So. Stop the camera here. Ooh, I got you. Nice. So I don't know. Once I got this, circle on two. Now, if you think you break up 36. Okay. You broke down 36, you want to get it here. But this number can keep going. So you want to try to break that down further. Right now, like that's great. That's actually good, but you got to keep going. How many? How many of those numbers do you see, though? I guess it, that just ends there. Then. Okay. So, okay. wait. So, okay. 18 didn't break down? No. What's, okay. a, what's so, the number you always check first? Okay. So, start with it. Try two. Good. And then you, what do you can do with it? Um, oh. Damn. Perfect. You got it. Piece of cake. Okay. Keep going. <laughs> Keep going. Okay. You're doing well. Okay. Can that number break down? No. You sure? Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. Wait. Right. What's up? Okay, just four to one. So we're not adding. Oh, so three, 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 Nice. Can you spell it right? Either can you. I can't spell it. Don't worry about it. Nice. Sure. So Still a better word. Kill it, guys. Kill it. Okay. And add. Oh, yeah. Steven, you need one more time. You almost had enough. Oh, you got it. All right. Yep. He's already done. All right, perfect. Okay. That was really nicely done. Now, here's the thing a lot of you are really good at just breaking down as fast as you can. I want you to stick with that method because it seems like the one that you like to use the most. So instead of a hockey stick, we're going to be more doing like a, a line or a bunch of bubbles. So you have kind of more of a bubble method. Let's try one more here. I want to try the number 28. The number 28. We're not going for fast. We want to see if you can do it without any corrections for myself or Mr. Ward. Mm -hmm. It's not about speed. So the number 28.
Okay, can you break down two and seven anymore? There you go, okay, so I got your answer. Okay, what symbol goes in between? It's not. Awesome. Okay, perfect. Okay, now, um, big. Times twenty five. Five. Oh, okay, well, you guys killed us. No. You killed us. You don't? No. <laughs> no, Doug. Okay. Steve, did you get that? Hundred. What was that? Hundred twenty five. Nice. Steve, the only one that's accepting.